I'm Dr. Brian J. Moran, Medical Director at the Chicago Prostate Center here in Chicago, Illinois. My advice to the average man in this country who's diagnosed with prostate cancer is to realize that they are not destined to die from the disease, that they have time to make a well-informed decision, and the first thing to do is take a step back and definitely, definitely get a second opinion, especially from another um, discipline. At Chicago Prostate Center, we specialize solely in prostate brachytherapy. Our patients that undergo brachytherapy are followed every four months for the first year, at which time we do not do a digital rectal exam. We obtain a PSA level only, and we assess if there's any side effects that they're experiencing. Fortunately, the, the majority of them absolutely have no side effects, um, and that's due to proper patient selection up front. Our focus, as I've emphasized you know, over and over again, is quality of life because the cure rates are just so high. 95% at 15 years for low-risk patients who have favorable prognostic factors, 85% for intermediate-risk patients, and 75% for the high-risk patients. These are remarkable cure rates uh, considering the, the aggressiveness of some of the high-risk patients. And so those numbers are accepted by the experts. It's a 40-minute procedure. It's one time compared to nine weeks of radiation, which reimburses substantially higher. And compared to proton beam therapy, I don't think there's any comparison. Finally, the scientific literature that's out there, without question, demonstrates an improved outcome at 10 years with brachytherapy over external beam radiation. And it's all because of the dose of radiation we're allowed to administer to the prostate. External beam radiation is limited to a dose of probably no more than 80, 8,600 centigrade, whereas with brachytherapy, it's the ultimate dose escalation. We can put in as much as we want. In fact, I keep teaching less is more because we don't need to be that aggressive. But with brachytherapy, we can achieve the biologically equivalent dose that we know is necessary to cure prostate cancer and also uh, avoid toxicity to the adjacent bladder and rectum. So it's just a great procedure. It makes a lot of sense. And as we move into the era of focal or targeted therapy, the technology is going to continue to improve to allow us to further focus uh, with higher definition machines. Um, it's remarkable the, the, how far ultrasound technology has come in the over 20 years I've been practicing.